You got to be on in those moments. Yes. That's all. That's what I'm saying. That, me too. Do you do you miss being not sober? Ever? Sometimes. Sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I, I um I miss. What's late, the pros and cons? That that if I do, I'll wind up doing too much. For sure. For sure. I can't control it. It's just the way you are. Just the way I am. And I don't want to. I don't want to push it again because when I get that way. My kids don't talk to me. I get a divorce. <laughs> I, I'm thrown out right. of my own band. Right, right. Uh, what else? I lose everything. I mean, that's happened enough times for me to finally realize, you know what? It's not worth it. Right. You know. I get it. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. And I got a lot of beautiful friends. I got a beautiful um, bunch of friends um, to keep me in line. You know, I got two sponsors, one on the West Coast, one on the East Coast. That I call up all the time and go, I want to get so fucked up right now. <laughs> How does that work when you call them up? What do they I say? Don't go, do it, Stephen. No, no. Do they ever guys, say, fuck, no, dude, I do too, but no, I keep it together? Exactly. No, That's they'll, 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 they'll just say, what else is new? Do you guys ever talk about it the way like fat people talk about food they used to eat? No, because we don't do that. What is it called? Looking back and digging into the back. dinosaur shit. No, we no? don't do that. Nah. But, you, but you do, if you go to like an AA meeting, they do mm -hmm. get up and tell awesome stories oh, fuck about yeah. getting fucked up, right? See... When you get sober, if you don't if you don't ha continue your aftercare by going to a, a couple meetings every now and then, mm -hmm. you're going to wind up using again. Really? Especially someone like me who watched Janis Joplin up there, okay? 1968. I'm in a high school. She's got bangles and beads like this shit on. And she's, she's drinking Southern Comfort, and she's spitting and using the F word. Smoking cigarettes. Nobody did that back then. She was a powerful woman. And you're watching woman. her. And she's fucking the power in song. Yeah. Take another little piece of my heart now. That's why I covered yeah. that on my country album. Yeah. 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 To this day, I listen to that song like at least once every couple months. Just put that in the headphones. So you see how, you know, how what songs can do for you? Yeah. Well, when you, when you grew up in the 60s and what we did was we experimented. You know, I mean, if you think about what they tell us, Christopher Columbus discovered America. No, the bow of his boat was full of booze and he fucked Queen Elizabeth or whoever. She goes, go, good boy, you know. <laughs> and she sent him on his way with some money and said, bring me back some countries. You think? And by the way, he wasn't the first person here. That's what America wants us to believe. But anyway, so, so Christopher Columbus, he's got that in his head to go, to go check shit out. Right. He's drinking. He's going by the stars at night. It's kind of like that. It's like you never took LSD. It's, I've taken acid. Okay, so then you, yeah. you know it. You, you look out. We used to take acid in high school, and we would we'd go to these um, uh, ski slopes in the summertime, right? Beautiful green hills going up, and mm -hmm. we'd ride the chairlift stoned as fuck. And we got our stuff from San Francisco, from Owsley. I would call him up and go, dude, more colors. <laughs> <laughs> more colors Ray Taban was going to kill me but that's what so you understand that that's just it's, it's like you know is it fucked up and it's drugs yeah but you're also it's like I'd love to do ayahuasca but I'd love you can't. to do that no, I, I, maybe my bucket list and that's what I'll talk to my sponsor about hey I got this uh, I'm in Maui maybe I've been here too long but um, over in Hana they're doing well, ayahuasca I 